see. Is there a real sense of teamwork? My friend Joey sewed his hands together. Wow, you're learning some real skills. How about the salary and benefits? Yesterday, I made a dollar. See, that's the kind of dedication we have to our employees and the quality of our shoes. Eris Running Shoes. Always running from something. Buying a gift for the guy that has everything? Log on to PetsOvernight.com. We've got exotic pets galore, including tigers, cobras, manatees, and white rhinos. All delivered overnight. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. All right, now joining us in the studio, we have a very special guest. His new book, Karate and Digestion, has been one of the top self-help books for the past three weeks. He is the founder of Now and Zen, Dojo and Organic Food Market in Trenton. His name is Reed Tucker. Welcome to Chatterbox, Reed. Why, thank you, Lad, though. It certainly is an honor to be here today. So tell me, Reed, where did you think of the idea of combining martial arts and organic food? I mean, I mean it's kind of like putting ice cream on pizza. Both are great, but they really shouldn't be put together. Okay, Lad, though. Completely nothing like ice cream pizza. Ice cream is milk based, as we all know, and I am lactose intolerant. And pizza, as you may know as well, is a sandwich derivative of Italian origins, but I won't go on. Martial arts are about discipline and physical empowerment, not watching football and eating junk food. You have to explore your mind and your digestive system. What you put in also comes out. Especially corn. What's the story with that anyway? Laszlo, I'm deadly serious now. My mentor was a 430-year-old monk who showed me the way to enlightenment through Okay. If you have a question for Reed, we'll be taking calls in a little bit. I think we all went through a ninja period. You know, I had the Chinese stars and the nunchucks. This is not a period, Laszlo. This is a way of life. Thanks to a strict vegan diet, I had the power of nine men. After morning meditation and a three-bean salad, I could chop a bus in half. Sometimes. No offense, but you're kind of a scrawny, pasty dude. It, it says on the inside cover of your book that you still live in your parents' basement. Okay, it, it's not a basement. I prefer a center for spiritual enlightenment. In chapter 17 of my book, which I know you've read, I address the danger of cynicism. Ladlo, closed mind is like a closed fist, and karate means open hand. But it might as well mean open mind. If you're not too fresh, I think you'll believe that. Well, I'm not a masticating okay, cow, so I really don't enjoy chewing damp hay and prancing around in leggings, shouting, Okay, that though, I'm warning you this time. Do not make me angry. Bad for my body. Definitely be bad for your heart. I studied the martial arts like a fan of the school, just like you. And I encourage everyone listening out there on Chatterbox to buy my book and learn about organic food and martial arts. And I encourage anyone who needs a doorstop or a booster seat to buy it as well. Let's see who's on the phones. Hello, caller. You are on the air. Hello, Reed. I bought your book. It really saved my life. Why, thank you. I want to ask about the 29. Yoga, not yogurt. This cat is amazing. So wonderful. I reject this pop right now. This cat is better out of my life. I put it around the house. My legs have behind my head for two days now. But my husband has been... Shut up, you carnivore. Why don't you go gnaw on a bone like a gorilla that, no? Our ancestors didn't eat chicken wings. They lived at one with nature and their ecosystem, subsisting on a diet of nuts, berries, and leafy vegetables. Yes, and they threw stones at their own shadow and died of old age and fear at 24. That road for me soul is eternal. But let me answer the question. When I'm in trouble or tempted by those all you can eat breakfast like they were with huge pans of juicy bacon. Can you get some bacon in here? I start the day with a fruity beverage, some meditation, and six hours of yoga. Next, I go open up my shop, now and then, and drink two pints of hand pressed yeah. And who wants a steak after that? Okay, next caller, you are on Chatterbox with Reed Tucker. Yo, Reed, come to me with a dope. How can I learn to beat up ten guys at once? Okay, first things first, my man. You need to stop the negative thinking. And the best attack I've found is to just run away. Whoa. That way you instill fear in your opponent. You never know when you might descend from the rafters like a bat. I don't want to hear about no Oku running away. I want to learn about being a bat. Actually, I do cover this early on in the book in chapter 45. It's called Stir Fry Your Prejudice. You see, I once thought my kid before my master took me under his wing and taught me the joys of soy and origami. 
concentration begins in the mind and spreads to all the extremities of the body. You must use the language of the body, not the tongue. And the language of the body begins with raw, uncooked, organic vegetables. Just look at me. I tear a phone book in half and like bare toes. The fact that I can easily chop this desk in two half desks. This desk is made of two inch thick composite wood pulp and has a mahogany veneer finish. It has three drawers and knowing this station it cost hundred dollars. In his own words, Reed Tucker is about to smash it into two half desks. Take it away, Reed. Ladies and gentlemen, I already visualized the desk in two half desks. And now I shall make it so. Dragon stance. Hey yeah! Oh! Oh, oh Lando! Lando! I think I hurt my hand, but Pinky fell bent the wrong way. Listen, Karate Kid, the desk is still in one piece. Thanks for coming on the show. Okay, Lando, the monster will come from nowhere. I think I might hit you now. Oh, I brewed either of you. Don't throw any toast with the bean curds at me. He's very funny, though. You can make fun of me, but it's all the fault of the foam swing here. Downright disgraceful. Yes, it makes you talk like this. Okay, the listener lines are open. This is Chatterbox. You're on the air. Hey, Leslo. That last guy was a lunatic. Where'd you dig him up from? Say, what and that wacko you had going on about killer bees. What a moron. I mean, just read into the paper. Killer bees. Uh, they pull some artificial sweeteners and soda pop. Roswell. It's all part of the government's propaganda plan. I might as well wear a satellite. Yeah, like yeah. that propaganda right into my brain. Come on. Do you honestly believe the NSA's echelon system is already reading emails and recording your phone conversations? It's all designed to frighten us so we don't complain about our rights being taken away from people to fight whatever boogeyman they come up with today. Uh, well, I mean, you realize that the government listens to this station, and, and if they weren't paying particular attention to you before, they're probably going to be following you now. Oh, yeah. I think, look, they already got me once, but never again. <laughs> Do you have anything else to say? Yeah. Free Kevin. All right, we're talking about short guys, killer bees, the Magna Carta, chip. Uh, well, the red light on the wall is flashing, which means that the owner of the station has an important announcement to make. Let's go live to his office. Hello, my name is Donald Glove. You're listening to a Love Media station. Enjoy. Wow, man, that was deep. You know, I really like working here. The station, it feels like my second family. <laughs> Except that we have a snack machine. And I tell you, working here beats the hell out of digging sewage ditches outside Kuala Lumpur. All right, let's go to the phones. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Well, little man, I, I was listening to that in when you talked to earlier. I mean, do these guys realize how wussy they sound? I mean, they, they have the nerve to call crackers this. And they say aluminium instead of aluminum. I mean, what's up with that? They all think they sound so smart with a little funny accent. I mean, I got something for them. Speak English, you limey moron. Well, you know, I think they were speaking English before we were. Uh, the people over here were speaking Shoshone and Cherokee. Man, man Cherokee, Cherokee, man. And, and another thing, what's up with them calling soccer football? Man, you, you ever watch soccer? Man, that's a boring game, man. Yeah. I'll tell you what soccer is. Soccer's for little girls, man. Football, now that's an American sport. It, it teaches you good, wholesome American values, man, like like stealing other people's land by force and, and wearing tight pants while you do it. What are you talking about? I'm talking about being a man, Laszlo. Something you wouldn't know anything about from the sound thing. I'll tell you, I bet you play wimpy stuff like like touch football and, and, and basketball. Look, I'm running around the court, then the ball, and I'm seven foot three. I'm telling you, man, I only play man sports like football and hopscotch. Hopscotch? That's a girl's game. Man, that ain't a girl's game, man. Not rugby, hopscotch. Man, get me in a scrub and I'll stay. Get off the wall, you. I'm a big man. 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 Has your marriage gone stale? Has the fuck gone out of the world? Yes. We're looking to add a little adventure to the monogamy of monogamy? Hello, I am Fernando Martinez, founder of Fernando's New Beginnings. A revolutionary new way of saving your marriage. We understand how two kids in a mortgage can take the passion out of your life. With our three-step program, you'll rediscover romance guarantees. Hi, my name's Phil. 
I've got three kids, two cars, and a mortgage. Fando, I'm still married, but on Wednesday afternoons, I meet Barbara at the motel by the turnpike. See? The passion she's back. Phil's marriage is saved, and his kids will have a daddy to look up to. Call New Beginnings today. Cinco, 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 nueve dos, nueve dos. It will be a miracle. I guarantee it. Fernando's New Beginnings. We turn an ending into a beginning. Mom, there's a package for you. But I didn't order anything. What's this? How sweet. Gee willikers, it's a puppy! Everybody loves a puppy. And now you can ship one anywhere just by logging on to PetsOvernight.com. PetsOvernight.com. Delivering little bundles of love and a bottle. And who says that e-commerce isn't a brilliant idea? All right, speaking of brilliant, you're listening to Chatterbox with me, Laszlo. Let's go over here to the phones and see what's plaguing Liberty City. Oh, caller, you're on the air. Wow, I got through. Uh, wow. Last are a perfect example of manners. People are rude and they don't seem to care about anything but themselves. Perfect example. The other day I stopped at the store to pick up an exercise bar because I hadn't had breakfast or lunch. So I go up to pay and the lady's like a dollar twenty-five. So I get out my checkbook and the guy behind me is like, oh come on lady, you don't have two dollars? And I said, as a matter of fact, I don't. I spent my last $2 last night buying gas at these ridiculous gas prices, and besides, anyway, can't you see that I'm wearing my I Walk t shirt? People are so considerate. Well, you'll get no argument from me. I mean, I get every inconsiderate moron in Liberty City calling into this show. I mean, people think that I have no feelings whatsoever. Exactly. A another perfect example. The other day, I'm over at the hospital to have lunch with my girlfriend, Cherie. And this maniac comes right up on my bumper, flashing his light, and I'm like, hey guys, the light is red, can't just come up behind me all the way to the feel my body is on Besides, can you believe it? I mean, who has a megaphone rigged into their car? People are so obnoxious these days. And rude. I mean, I tell my name my kids some manners. You know, I think that's a lesson to us all. All right, hello, next caller, you're on Chatterbox. Hello, Lando. Did that woman say she was a nanny? Because bloody needs a nanny because he's been a very naughty boy. No, no nannies. Let's go to our next caller, all right. Colonel James T, United States Marine Corps, 2nd Battalion. Laszlo, that caller made a really valid point. These kids today have no respect for authority. And there is one thing that would whip them into shape. <laughs> Let me guess, the, the military. The military teaches you respect, obedience, and it gives you a good pitch. These kids that thought they were going to be millionaires, look where the future information highway has gotten them. Nowhere. It's a dead end. Uncle Sam takes care of his boys and some girls. If more people would join the military, this would be a better country. I tell you another thing about me. These kids don't respect veterans. We fought for your freedom. When I came back from the Australian-American War, I didn't get a hero's welcome. I didn't get a pat on the back from my friends and neighbors saying, thank you for fighting for our freedom, okay? After years of fighting in the trenches, I come back here and everyone's watching TV. Now, can you tell me what this Australian-American War was? I mean, I really never... Lately, son, the Australian-American War was the biggest war since the big one. I tell you, I didn't need two tours and take boomerang shrapnel in my head. So I can come back here and have a bunch of hippies deny history. Those Aussies are ruthless. They even wired kangaroos with explosives. Come hopping in a camp, knock out ten guys. Well, thanks for the history lesson. All right, let's go over here. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Yeah? Is that Laszlo? Yes, it is. Who's this? My name ain't important. It's real unimportant, okay? Uh, no, not really. I mean, this is a radio show. People usually tell us their name. My name is real unimportant. You want to keep being a wise guy, you'll find out just how unimportant. Like, unimportant, I just got shot in the head, unimportant. Do I make myself clear? Uh, yes. Uh, why are you calling in today? Because I need some advice, and I ain't doing any of that shrink shit. Uh, if you swear again, we're gonna have to cut you off. This is a family show. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm just a little unhappy, a bit agitated, real angry. It's my mom. She don't think I'm a real man. Job and all, but she treats me like a little boy. All I get is your pa this and your pa that, and you ain't a real man, Tony, and it's driving me freaking nuts. Well, 
help Tony. Tony? How'd you know my name was Tony? You're tracing this call? Because if you are, you're gonna get real intimately acquainted with what your brains look like. My name ain't Tony, okay? Uh, okay. But my mom, she keeps going, Tony, Tony, be a real man. Stand up for yourself, don't take no shit. But all I know is to be a good son. I want her to show that she cares for her. Show that she loves me. And you know, I'll say I was a good kid. But it seems like nothing's ever good enough for her. You know what I mean? What do I do? Well, Toad, I mean, sir, you know, in life we have a lot of obligations. And we just kind of have to face up to them. And right now, I'm obligated to play some commercial announcements. We'll be back right after this. We've got a new friend for everyone. He's got fur and a tail. He gets in lots of trouble, but he's a bouncy little fellow. Because he's got springs for legs. Pogo the Monkey, the best new video game for the whole family. I love you, Pogo. You bounce. Help Pogo escape from the evil research laboratory where the mean old scientist genetically offered him. Uh-oh, the pharmaceutical scientist is going to get you, Pogo. Here you go, Pogo. Have a gold coin. Good thing Pogo has a banana cannon. Those nasty scientists deserve to die. Now get the shampoo manufacturer. Oh, have a diamond. You'll guide Pogo through tons of fun adventures, including saving Timmy, who fell down the well. Help! <laughs> Here you go, Pogo. Have a big watch. Rescue a cat out of that tree with your banana cannon, Pogo. Here you go, Pogo. Have a fast car. And help Pogo to his final mission. Destroy the White House with his friends and become President of the United States. Pogo the Monkey is the game kids are sure to stare at for hours. Everyone loves Pogo. Idiot Gamer called Pogo the best spray in the city of games since Bouncing Bananas. Buy the game Pogo the Monkey today. Right, Pogo? And coming soon, Pogo the Monkey card game, Pogo the Monkey plastic dolls, Pogo the Monkey quilt covers, and Pogo the Monkey car covers. For the dad who has everything, why not a Pogo the Monkey tie and sports jacket? For the lady in your life, why not Pogo the Monkey chocolates and hygiene products so she smells like a real monkey? And for kids, a life-size, living, breathing, springing monkey. All available at PogoTheMonkey.com. All right, Liberty City, this is your talk radio show, Chatterbox, where your opinion matters. Let's go to the phones. Hello, caller, you're on Chatterbox. Hey, you ever had possum? That's good eat. No, I really can't say I have. Well, you ever tried sometimes? I tell you, man, it's good eat. Possum, raccoon, even zebra meat. It's pretty good. Uh, do you have anything else to say, or? Pigeons. Pigeons. Too. Sometimes they come with notes attached, just like a fortune cookie with wings. Oh, well, world is not so good. They taste like goldfish. Meat really stringy. You know what I mean? Um, actually, I can't say that I do. Um, but but if I did eat too much squirrel and put on a few extra pounds, I'd use the Dormatron. Unlike those other exercise machines that require you to be awake, the Dormatron actually exercises you overnight. Let's learn a little bit more about it. I've tried everything, and I just couldn't keep those extra 200 pounds off. It started to affect my marriage. She was too big for me, and I'll sleep with anything. The abdominatrix, the thigh size, and zombie stapling. I've had my mouth sewn up, my hands chopped off. You name it, I've tried it. Yeah, except for exercising and eating right, Walkie. That's right, honey. Then I found the Dormatron. Using a new technology called biorhythmic subconscious gymnastics, the Dormatron exercises you while you sleep. Just strap in your arms and legs, put on the Dormatron headset, then wrap yourself in the special high-voltage electric blanket. Turn it on to 11 and burn those pounds away while you have a relaxing night's sleep. Now that I've lost 280 pounds, my husband's all mine again. That's right, honey. No more escort services for me. Don't be fat a day longer than you have to. Remember, being fat can even ruin a romantic cruise. Call Dormatron now at 1-800-SLEEP-OFF-LARD or visit www.sleepofflard.com and sleep your way to a thinner, happier you. I'm a marketing manager who lives in the suburbs and commutes to work on the highway. I live alone, so of course I needed a car that could seat 12 and is equipped to drive across Arctic tundra. It just makes me feel better. The new my Batsu monstrosity, mine is bigger. Oh, what a, that's a good commercial. I, I love commercials, don't you? This is Chatterbox. We are uh, taking your calls right now. Hello, caller. You are on the air. Hi, Lazlo. Is that your real name? Huh? Of course it's my real name. Are you Hungarian? <laughs> uh, no, I'm from upstate. Are you sure that's not a fake radio name like Andy or Bobo? I thought all those radio people had fake names. You have a question or you just want to sit here and talk all day about my name? No, that's it. I'll just go, Lazlo, or Mark, or John, or Beverly, whatever your name is. 
All right, next caller, you're on Chatterbox. What is on your mind? Bird abuse, fruit vegetables, albino carrots as they're known back home. Okay, here's the deal. This isn't gardening with Maurice. That's on later. No, he got taken off the air. He lied, I know he did. Ah! I've been trying to make a hybrid of a peach and a Pekingese midget fight bitch for the last two years. And it is impossible. Impossible, I tell you. Okay, and speaking of impossible, Jane from Cedar Grove is on the line, and she wants to talk about how difficult it is being a parent today. Hello, Jane. Hi, Laszlo. I love the show. I'm a first-time caller. I wanted to say something about these video games. They are warping our kids' minds. My son's dog, Hugo, got hit by a truck, and he says, Mommy, Mommy, where's the reset button? Kids these days, they think life is a game. Well, it's not a game, Laszlo. It is very, very scary. I let my kids play video games. And now, runs around the house looking for gold coins. our children to go to the money. My little parents were playing video games called Pogo the Monkey. Yeah, I've heard of that one. The shop teacher called the day. And Sam made a homemade banana can in shop class and was mobbing a rock tree at a fast food restaurant. And it's all because of video games. We learned what the place did not have a reset button. Right, but this show does. Ah, I love that button. You know, it's never a dull moment on this show, especially if you're in our key demographic. Love Media, bringing people and the finest in entertainment together. All right, hello, next caller. You're on Chatterbox. I want to talk about that bank stuff. You say it's bad. It's not bad to you at all. Why aren't you talking? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Hello? It's me, Pansy. What's your question? Bank, 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 bank. What about it? I mean, that's not really a question. Questions usually start with words like how and why. And they end with your voice going up like this. Don't mock me. I know where you work. You just smell the rest. How's that? You All right. my you And she's saying they use it to control us. Why do you think all the commercials tell you to brush your toys a day? I've read books. And what book have you been reading that tells you that toothpaste is evil? Tetris, The Devil, and The Great Cavity Cover Up by J. Bill Higginbottom. If you've seen what I've seen, and if you've heard what I've heard, you'd never brush your teeth again. I suppose you're one of those people that says that diet soda makes you go crazy later in life. I told you before, man. Don't mock me. My taxes pay your salary, you pansy. Sir, uh, this is a commercial radio station owned by Love Media. Advertising revenue pays my salary. And on that note, it's been two full minutes since a commercial. But I'd like to say, if anyone else is stressed, might I recommend Equinox from Zaibatsu Pharmaceuticals. We'll be back after these important messages. Hello! I used to be concerned and nervous about the future. Sometimes I'd get scared before an important event such as childbirth or family funeral. Hey, sometimes you need a little help navigating life's trouble spots. That's when I discovered Equinox. After the divorce and losing little Tommy, life was getting me down. I couldn't focus on anything. After trying Equinox, I've been employee of the month three times in a row. I used to fall unconscious for hours at a time. Now with Equinox, I never need to sleep. Equinox is new from Zaibatsu Pharmaceuticals. Ask your doctor about Equinox today. Equinox may cause nausea, loss of sleep, blood vision, leakage, kidney problems, and vehicle allergies. Not taking the oxygen drop, but you should be driving a right in the job area, which I have Equinox, softening life's harsh realities. Tonight, the TV event that will make history, Liberty City Survivor. This takes reality TV to a whole new level. We'll take 20 recently paroled guys, equip them with grenade launchers and flamethrowers, and let them hunt each other down. It's the reality show where you just might be part of the action. I was grabbing a sandwich at the Happy Three, and all of a sudden these guys crashed through the window and started shooting at each other. I was so excited, I didn't even notice I'd been hit. After that, I was hooked on Liberty City Survivor. I watch it every day in the hospital. The game doesn't end until there's only one man left standing. Tune in nightly or watch the 24-hour live webcast. Liberty City Survivor. Natural selection has come home. Sponsored by Ammunition. All right, we're back on Chatterbox. Call us on the Chatter line to tell us what's on your mind. Line four, you're on Chatterbox. What's on your mind? Liberty City Cox rule! Ah, that's lovely, thanks. Next caller, you're on Chatterbox. That last guy was so full of crap. Everyone knows he's an amazing fan. Okay, great, another lunatic. Hello, next caller, you are on Chatterbox. Yeah, you were talking about short guys and attitudes. Well, you know, you'd have an attitude, too, if you couldn't reach the friggin' cheesy squirrels at the grocery store. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it seems like the whole world's against you. I mean... You know, we're not talking about you. What kind of egomaniac are you? You got your own show. How about letting other people talk for a change? We're all the same, you giant. Oh, I'm so all. I'm so important. Listen to me talk about my tall stuff. I think I'll put this in the top show. Hey, what's the weather like down there? How's it going, short stuff? Can you get that? You're closer. Why so sad, Pee-wee? 
Who do you think you are? Short people are people, too. All right, another award-winning show on Chatterbox. Today we're talking about anything, it seems. If you have something to say about anything, call now. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Yeah, I love the show. Love hearing people's opinions. That's what made this country great. People, opinions, and stuff. Most of all, guns. I had a few people whine about guns kill people. Guns don't kill people. Death kills people. Ask a doctor. It's a medical fact. You can't die from a bullet. You can die from cardiac arrest, or organ failure, or major hemorrhage. A small piece of metal ain't the problem. Besides, I only use my machine gun to save my own home or car. I ain't hurt nobody. And countries that don't have guns in America. Y you know, that's a really good point. Countries that don't have guns aren't American. You know, if more people had guns, we'd have less shootings in this country. All right, we're going over here to line two. Hello, caller. You are on Chatterbox. Yeah, I'd like to say something about taxes. You mean the Lone Star State? Oh, taxes. Well, you know, look, taxes is really wrong. My father worked his whole life. He played the lottery. And now the state wants to pay taxes on the money he wins from that stuff. Buy your own lottery ticket. Oh, hey. Good point. I think that's a lesson to us all. All right, hello. You are on Chatterbox. Hello, lads. I'm a first-time caller. I recently moved to Liberty City from Hampshire in England. Oh, really? How do you like it? I mean, is it hard to get used to the language? You, you speak English pretty good. Oh, thank you, Nando. Yes, yes, I, I do like it here. There's one thing, though, that's just very different. Rather one... Yeah, well, I mean, there's excellent child care here in America. I don't know. Well, well, I'm sure. But, but the thing is, Nando, when, when, when I was a naughty boy, I, 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 I would get spanked. Na nanny, Nanny would spank me when I was naughty. And now, now Freddy needs Nanny, because when Freddy's naughty, he needs to get spanked. Well, there's some child psychologists who probably say that spanking can be harmful to a child's emotional development. Ab ab absolute rot, Lazarus. It's lovely. Freddy needs a Nanny. He needs a Nanny, Lazarus. Freddy's been a very naughty boy. Now, how old is your son? How old is your son? I don't have children. I can't stand it in class. All right, that's enough of him. God, who gave this guy a green card? This is Chatterbox. We're talking about short guys, nannies, taxes, and anything sane you'd like to bring to the party. Hello, you are on Chatterbox. I was wondering that caller about taxes. You, you look. How do you expect your responsible members of society to understand how the government spends your money? Why are people afraid of numbers? Sine and cosine are two of the most elegant and incredible discoveries of humanity. I mean, the Cartesian...